Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, April 15th, 2024. I'm Giovanni Betancourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets. All right, so the early market reaction to Iran's attack on Israel over the weekend was relief. While the assault was large and direct, traders were able to take some comfort from the fact that the more than 300 drones and rockets launched didn't cause more damage or more casualties. But to say that the situation is delicate now is an understatement. The first fear is that Israel retaliates in a way that triggers an escalation. The nightmare scenario is that the US and Iran end up in a direct confrontation that pulls in other countries. It's impossible to rule that out. The biggest question for investors is how the tension will affect stocks and the Federal Reserve. On one hand, it could be all de-escalate and things could return to more or less to how they were before. Earnings from Goldman Sachs uh, were beat this morning. Bank of America is yet, is yet to, to come out and report and Netflix may be the bigger uh, drivers for stocks this week. Oil prices fell back after the attack but a worsening of the situation could easily see the, them spike. That might be positive for energy stocks such as Exxon Mobil or Chevron, but it will be bad for economic growth and could nudge the Federal Reserve to keep interest rates higher for even longer. But that's, not, that's only if the Fed is more worried that the higher oil prices will boost inflation in the long term. It's also possible that the damage to growth will keep a lid on overall inflation further down the line. That's one explanation for why bond yields fell on, on Friday, even as oil prices rose. Amid warnings that some kind of attack was imminent, bond yields were edging higher again early this morning. Another explanation is that with so much uncertainty, a flight to safety seems like a good idea. Treasures are our classic haven. What happens next is still very much uncertain. Also, gold uh, could be one of those safe havens. Let's take a look at what we can expect for today's market fluctuation. In front of us, we have the NASDAQ. Uh, this is a daily chart. So we've seen how the NASDAQ is, is creating a momentum to the upside. This can over, overfill or spill into the U.S. open section, into the U.S. session. So I'm using 18,400 as my resistance. Uh, we are getting closer to that. 80 points basically away from that. So perhaps by the by when the bell uh, rings in about an hour from now, uh, we would be there already. Now, if that's the case, we could come in and then choose 18,500, uh, 18, which it was basically uh, the top for last week. All right, that's for as far as for the NASDAQ. As far as for the S&P 500, I'm choosing 5,245 my resistance, again, if that's already met by the opening of the session, we can come in and use just a bit tight higher, right around 5,280 or 70 uh, to, be, to be in fact. Then the Dow has a much stronger fluctuation to the upside, even though it did open with a gap down that has been closed. Um, this is also to be uh, you know, more momentum being created by Goldman Sachs reporting. So let's see if by the opening we'd be already above that. And as to be very, very greedy, and very bullish on it, 39,000 could be our psychological resistance level for the Dow. As far as crude oil goes, well, we saw that fluctuation to the upside um, on Friday. It quickly retreated, it retraced, pulled back, and consolidated uh, below that, uh, actually in the red. Uh, today, we did open with a gap up in crude oil, uh, but that has been closed. We did uh, fluctuate to the downside. Now we seem to be uh, correlating with uh, last week's market fluctuation. So I, I wouldn't expect too much, much more of a upside movement in crude oil. So 86 to 87 could be our target, if not just trading lower today. Nat gas. Okay, well, Nagas has, is, is just giving back all of those gains, so let's bring our support down to 165. Uh, Nagas, the uh, uh, of the is, is barely basically the uh, supplies have have increased, so 
the demand is still there, but we are oversupplied, so perhaps a, a continuation to the downside could be expected. 165 is our target. And then gold being a safe haven as well. Uh, we did saw a, a strong fluctuation to the upside on Friday, right to uh, 2,430. Uh, that quickly was pulled back and it closed, it on, closed down. We are flattish right now. We did open with a gap up, however, so we can speculate that we can come in and just revisit at least uh, the 2400. That that could be that could be seen, uh, or we can just just be trading sideways within Friday's range, just staying here. Either we are in the overbought territory in the RSI. Then uh, silver is uh, the same story, and even though silver is, is showing more strength to the upside, so twenty nine dollars can be our target for today. Copper. It did open with a strong gap up. It has been closed. Let's see if we if we, we do break in the U.S. session. We are in the overbought territory in the RSI, so four dollars and forty cents can be our target for today. Then we have Bitcoin. That Bitcoin, after you know, just having a bad bad week last week, it did just trade it from right around seventy one all the way down to sixty two. So that's nine thousand dollars movement. So today, can we recover that in, uh, during this week? It is recovering today. So let's see if 68,000 internally could be our target. The currencies, however, are also just lingering right around their lows. Uh, the RSI is right in the borderline of being overbought, oversold, sorry. So let's see if we are gonna hit 106 and find that support at 106 and just rebound from that. Uh, as far as for the pound goes, 124 can be our support. The pound is kind of showing a bit more of a strength. Uh, the RSI is a bit further from being oversold, and the dollar index is looking to just continue making higher highs. So let's just move our resistance to 106, 200 ish. 200, there it goes. So that's that'd be our target. We are in the overbought territory for the, uh, for the dollar index. That's it for today. Have a great trading day and I will see you tomorrow.